guys, and welcome to another in the casual series where I teach you in random places. Today, I'm sitting in a lake. Tried to think of a song that would actually be useful for a lake or kind of relate somehow to a lake. Game of Thrones, kind of. Um, you're gonna need to know two scale shapes first. It's much easier if you know the notes that you're aiming for, if you learn them first and then try and apply the actual melody to it first. So the first shape you need to learn is Second shape you need to learn is almost exactly the same except for one note difference. That one was there on the first one, it becomes there on the second one. If you learn that shape as, a, as an entity, then you can actually work out uh, the notes of the main riff. The, set, the final shape you need to learn for the main riff is this one. And the fourth I say final last time, but this is the final shape. The fourth one is uh, from the fifth fret here, and it's... Now the important thing to remember when you're learning these shapes is to use the correct fingers for each one. Notice one, two, four on those uh, fingers. The uh, second shape. One, two, and four again. The third shape. Same fingers again, and the final one. You need to remember all four of those finger positions. It'll make it so much easier when it comes to learning the riff, which we're gonna do right now. You actually start on the B string on the eighth fret here. And that's the first note. As soon as you pluck that note, and I would recommend with the right hand, you try and do alternate picking. You can do all down strokes. But it's probably a little bit easier if you can get into the habit of doing down strokes. A fish just bit my leg. So, starting on the 8th fret on the B string. One note on that, jump straight down to the 5th fret on the G string. So you kind of do this rocking. And it's all even notes. Then you're going to jump strings. And this is the tough bit, because you've done the first finger here, you've got to jump with the first finger to the 4th fret on the B string. And then play the pattern that you would have learned before. And you repeat that, cycle it round on that one for a little bit longer. So you do that pattern four times and then you move to the second pattern. Exactly the same rhythm, you're just moving one note. That note. And for you, you theory guys, we're switching to a major key at that point. You go, we're back onto the first pattern now for all of this. That's the first part. Then you're moving down into the third position here. And we start this uh, little kind of pattern here. Notice I'm using the first and third fingers the whole way through that. Then you do the exact same thing again, but we're starting in this third position that we learned earlier. But now, we're slightly different. Then once you hit that note, you're going to move to the fourth and final position and do this riff. Put those four together and you've got the main riff. Now the final part of the melody, when it goes to like the kind of, I would call it the chorus, but I'm not really sure what it actually is. Um, it's very, just single notes. Down two frets. Now I'm moving to the uh, sixth fret here on the D string. One fret down. Then we're moving a string again to the sixth fret. Repeat. And now I add the octave here, but you don't have to do that. Just play those two notes. And then you go finally to that last pattern, repeats again on that fourth position. And then you are, you're done. So if you learn those, the best, best way to tackle it, the best way that I, I see to tackle it is to learn the, those four positions as like a scale shape where you can kind of play it up and down, ascend and descend, play around with it. And then once you've got that comfortable, it's so much easier to learn the rest of the pattern after that. 
Okay, so if you enjoyed the video, you can hit subscribe up in the corner. If you want to super subscribe, get all my music for free. I do music, by the way, as well. Um, you can p hit my Patreon page there, check it out. There's loads of good causes that I try and, um, I'm trying to raise money for and loads of cool projects that you can help out with and get loads of cool stuff in return. And if you like the video, hit the like comment section below if you want to um, suggest some stuff that you want me to teach. And uh, for now, guys, I'll see you at another random location for a casual series lesson uh, maybe next week.